All right, so in this problem, we are multiplying and dividing fractions. Now, before we start multiplying, let's turn this division into a multiplication problem by flipping it over to its reciprocal. So if we take 17, 7 over 17, and we multiply it by 5 over 2, and we multiply this fraction by its reciprocal, so we have 51 over 35. Now, we can start multiplying these fractions together, but before we do so, we can use the cumulative, property of the cumulative property of multiplication in order to manipulate these fractions and make it easier for us to solve. So, we can take the denominators and switch their places. So, if we take this 17, we'll want to place it under 51 because we know that it's going to be divisible by 51. And so, let's do so. We'll have 51 over 17. Now let's think what we can do with this 35, and the best place to move it to would be under the 5, because we know that 5 divided by 35 is going to be simplified easily. And now let's take this remainder of 2 and we'll place it under the 7. So now we have 7 over 2. Now let's simplify our fractions a little bit. We can simplify this 5 over 35 into Let's first of all rewrite this. We have 7 over 2. And if we simplify this 5 over 35, we will get 1 over 7. And if we simplify this 51 over 17, we will get 3, because 17 goes into 51 three times. All right, so now we can multiply our fractions straight across. So 7 times 1 times 3 is going to be 21. And 7 times 2 is going to give us 14. Now let's simplify this fraction and turn it into a mixed number. We'll ask ourselves how many times does 14 go into 21? And the answer is once. And to find our remainder, we'll do 21 minus 14, which will give us 7. So our remainder is 7 with a denominator of 14. And now if we simplify this fraction just a little bit more, we divide the numerator and denominator by 2, and this will lead us to get 1 as our whole number and 1 half as our remainder. So 1 and 1 half will be our final answer.